Hey, when I spoke yeah. to you guys in English class, I talked a little bit. One of the topics I talked about was dual enrollment. What we want to do today is give you some information so that you can have an informed decision when it comes time to scheduling both possibly this summer and also next school year when you're looking at your classes to have possibly dual enrollment as one of your options. We right now probably have about 10 or 15 students here at Penargo that are taking classes at our local community college while also taking classes here at Penargo High School, which is basically what dual enrollment is, is being a, a college student and also being a high school student at the same time. Right now, we have an agreement with Northampton Community College for you to be involved in a dual enrollment. Down the road, we may also have opportunities at other schools. But today's presentation is what may be available to you starting this summer that you may have an opportunity to participate in the dual enrollment program. Tell you a little bit about the program, and then if you're interested, what's your next step? So we have a representative from the, the uh, community colleges Monroe campus, Mrs. Lover here today. She's one of our representatives that if you have questions or concerns when we're going through this process, she's usually always available for our students to reach out and ask questions. And she's gonna to start today by giving you some information. And then we're gonna have hopefully an information session after lunch for any students that have a real interest in filling out an application to at least start the process. And by filling out an application doesn't mean you have to do dual enrollment means you're interested and you want to start pursuing that as a possibility. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Lavra and then we're going to talk a little bit about the end on what your next step is. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. Uh, my name is Sarah Lavra. I'm one of the College Connections Specialists at Northampton Community College. I do want to let you know that there are two of us, so sometimes you may also see my counterpart. Her name is Molly Clark. She's based out of the Bethlehem campus. I'm based out of the Monroe campus, um, but because of where Penn Argyle sits, we both come to Penn Argyle off and on together. So to get us started, dual enrollment is, Mr. Sampson kind of covered it, a high school student who is also in college. You're duly enrolled in both areas. Northampton Community College dual enrollment students are taking classes that are taught by NCC faculty. Those can be our faculty who are on campus. They could also be high school faculty from Penn Argyle or other high schools who are approved to teach college level courses. Dual enrollment students can be students who are taking all different types of classes. You can be an honor student, an AP student, a college prep student, or maybe you're at the Vote Tech. Because Northampton has over 100 different programs offered, we offer programs that can work for any student. So if you're thinking, I want to do welding when I'm in college, know that you can do that as a dual enrollment student because you can take welding courses. We offer that. If you want to be part of an honor society, and take honors courses because you are an honors or an AP student, you can do that as well. And know that if you are not an honors student now, doesn't mean that you can't do that in college as well. A little bit about dual enrollment at NCC. We have over 600 students every semester who take dual enrollment courses with us. Now most of our students are from Monroe County and Northampton County, but we have students from all over the United States. We have students from Louisiana, Florida, California, but also students from around the world. We have international students who are taking dual enrollment, or dual enrollment classes with us, including students from Myanmar, China, and France. So there's a wide variety of students who are taking classes, along with Northampton's population of students in general. Um, we have 85 different courses that our students are taking. So I mentioned if you wanted to take a welding course, you could do that. You can also take interior design, culinary, or maybe you want to take the basic courses, which are called general education. English, psychology, sociology, all of those are options for you. But again, there's 85 different plus courses that our students have taken last year. Dual enrollment students tend to do really well in these courses. The average grade is a B, which is awesome because your dual enrollment courses also start your college GPA. So when you go to college, even as a dual enrollment student, you're starting college, you get a fresh start. So you take that first class, you get a B, you have a college GPA of a 3.0, which is an amazing start. Most of our students, as you can see, get the B, so they're having that great GPA. If they decide to stay at NCC, that GPA goes with you. So you take two classes, you get a B in both of them, you have a 3.0. You say, I want to take these classes, but I do plan to go to Shippensburg. Well, Shippensburg will take those credits because you got a B in both of them, but you're not going to 
bring your GPA over. Instead, Shippensburg will just say they transferred. You'll get a T on there. But they will see your grades and know that you did very well in college level courses, which will make you a competitive applicant when you're applying for their admissions process. And the last thing on here is a dual enrollment student. You're gonna save a lot of money. If you have any family members who were in college, you know that they pay thousands and thousands of dollars to go to college. We're gonna talk about money in a few slides, but know that you're gonna save over 50% of what you would pay for college tuition by being a dual enrollment student. So some of the benefits, why should you take dual enrollment courses? You're gonna save time and money towards college. You're gonna save over 50% as we mentioned, but also starting to take these college level courses mean that if you wanna to go to NCC and you get a two year degree, instead of two years at NCC, it could be a year and a half. Instead of four years at Shippensburg, it could be three and a half years. Or if you wanna go on to a master's degree program, you can try and get as many courses, move on to that four year college, move on to that master's program quicker and get it done. And again, save yourself time and money in the long run. You're gonna learn what it is to be successful in college and also the difference between high school and college. I'm sure every time you moved from one school to another, elementary, middle, high school, there were different expectations for you. Going to college is no different. So you're going to see that there is more that you need to do, a heavier workload and more reading. And this isn't to scare you, it's just to say there's going to be changes. So while you're in college for this first class as a dual enrollment student, you're gonna have resources at NCC to help you, but you'll also be able to talk to your high school teachers and counselors who can point you into the direction of not only resources here at Penn Argyle, but also say, you know, NCC does have that learning and tutoring center. Why don't you go and see them? Because they can help you with your paper that you're having questions on. I mentioned you can start college with a strong GPA, and because we are a Pennsylvania community college, we have an agreement with all of the state schools, or the PASHI schools, where as long as you have a C or higher, your credits are going to transfer to them. If you get an associate degree from NCC and then go to one of the state schools, ESU, Kutztown, Bloomsburg, for example, if you get that associate degree, a two-year degree, and then take it to them, you have about two years left. They plug it all in for you. So again, you're saving time and money in the long run. So I did mention cost and saving a lot of money. If you take a class this summer, it's gonna be $100 a credit, and most courses are three credits. So a summer class is gonna cost you $300. If you're thinking, I wanna do it next fall, next spring, or even next summer, because you can do it um, every summer as well, you would pay $90 a credit, so it's $270. Now I will tell you college prices don't normally go down, but they are this year for us. So you can see there is a nice savings instead of an extra zero on the end because most college courses are gonna cost you a couple thousand dollars. So this is a nice way to save some money. But this still may be a steep price for you and I do wanna let you know that NCC does offer dual enrollment scholarships. You may have heard financial aid and FAFSA thinking about college. Unfortunately, you can't apply for any of that as a dual enrollment student because that is only available to you once you graduate high school. But to help students who say, that $300 or $270 is still a lot of money. Our scholarship is on our website. It takes about 10 minutes to complete. There is a short application as well as some personal information that we ask of you. Now I do wanna let you know, it says it up here and on our website, that preference is given to students who are first generation students, meaning you are the first in your family to go to college, and also those who are in free and reduced lunch. If you do not qualify for those, it does not mean that you will not qualify for the scholarship. That's just who gets first preference. So I encourage you, and Molly would encourage you, to apply because the scholarship is money that people have given to us, and we like to give that money away. We have money this summer, about $8,000, and we would like to give it all away. So if you're thinking of a summer class, but you're concerned financially, know that there's scholarship money to help you. We also will have scholarship money for next school year. Um, but take the few minutes, do the scholarship application after you do the admission application so it is all done and then you can be considered for both. Is anybody here taking an advanced placement class currently or thinking next year? All right, a few of you. So we get this question quite often that students say, why should I take an advanced placement class? Why should I take a dual enrollment class? What's the big difference? We do wanna let you know that they are both great opportunities. They both are college level work. They both have great expectations of you doing the college level work and being successful. 
The biggest difference is when you're taking an AP course, you take that class all year, you get a grade on your high school transcript, but then you're sitting for that AP exam. And then based off of that, you get a score. Some colleges are looking for a three or a four or a five to give you college credit. Most Northampton um, classes were looking for a three to give you that college credit. But if you get a two, you took that class, you did really well, but you got a two on the exam, you're not going to get the college credit. If you instead would take the Northampton dual enrollment course, get a B in it, going with their average grade, you get that college credit that is already there. Okay, so again, they're both great opportunities. AP is based off of that final um, AP exam score. Dual enrollment is based off of your final grade. But they are great opportunities for students. And some students say, let me maximize my potential. I'm gonna take these three AP courses and I'm going to take a dual enrollment course because we don't offer that and it won't, or it won't work for my schedule. So talk with your counselor, talk with your parents and see what you can do. If you can bring those AP credits with you, you're gonna to come to college, let's say, with three AP scores that give you the credit and then one or two dual enrollment courses which will give you one semester of college already completed. So it's a great opportunity, again, to save some time and money. Now I mentioned that dual enrollment students are taking over 85 different courses, but what's on our screen are the most popular dual enrollment courses because these are what's called general education courses. So no matter what you wanna study, you do need these, and no matter if you come to NCC or any other college nationwide. If you're thinking about taking a dual enrollment course, particularly sociology, psychology, and English, 